Hey man, praise the Lord, New Horizons Church. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I welcome you to the Fresh Fire Daily Prayer Devotional of our church. Thank you for joining with us today. This is the day that the Lord has made. I pray you're rejoicing with us and you are glad in it. We're praying through the book of Proverbs. You know, the Bible tells us that when we get wisdom, we will also have a love for life. When we cherish understanding, prosperity will soon follow us. And so we want to gain the wisdom of God. We want to have the understanding that comes from God. And so each day we're simply praying through the book of Proverbs. So whatever day it is, we read a passage of scripture from the chapter in Proverbs from that day. And so today is day number eight, and we're going to be reading from Proverbs chapter eight and verse 34 and 35. So if you have your scriptures with you, turn to Proverbs chapter eight and 34 and 35 with us. We're going to be reading from the new international version of the word of God. Here's what the word of God says. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me, find life and receive favor from the Lord. Listen to how wisdom describes itself. It says, blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway for those who find me, meaning wisdom, find life and receive favor from the Lord. So as we get ready to pray today, having heard how wisdom describes herself in the word of God, we want to pray that number one, we will listen for and listen to God's wisdom. Secondly, we want to pray as we listen for and listen to God's wisdom that we will be blessed by the wisdom of God. Thirdly, we want to pray that we will find life from the Lord in his wisdom. We would find the true meaning of life from the Lord through his wisdom. And then fourthly and finally, we want to pray that we would find favor from the Lord, that we would find favor from the Lord. Come on, let's pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless your name, God. We glorify you. We lift you up and magnify your holy name. God, you are worthy of our praise. You're worthy of our glory. You're worthy of all of the honor. And so, Lord, we've just come to, to glorify you and magnify you and lift you up and praise your name today. We thank you and bless you for allowing us to come into your presence and to enter into your gates with thanksgiving and to come into your courts with praise. We bless Hallelujah, your holy name. Lord God, it is our prayer today that you would teach us to listen for your wisdom, that we would listen from your word to hear your wisdom. Lord, we hear so many voices throughout our day and throughout the time in which we live, but we pray, God, that we would become attentive to you, that we would tune in and listen for your wisdom that comes from your word, that comes from these books of and scriptures found in Proverbs. And we pray, Lord God, that as we listen for your wisdom and as we hear you speak to us, as we watch daily at your doors and wait daily at your doorway, Lord God, that we would be blessed by your wisdom, that you would pour us out blessings, Lord, from the word of God, that you would give us insight and revelation and knowledge and understanding of your word. And Lord God, as we listen for your wisdom, and as you bless us from the word of God, we find, we pray, God, that we would find life from you. Lord, help us to understand the true meaning of life. Help us to understand how to maximize the life that you give us each and every day. Help us to find our passion and our purpose in this life that we live and that we lead before you. We pray, Lord God, that we would understand, Jesus, what you mean when you say that you come that we might have life and that we might have it more abundantly. We thank you, Lord, for being the life giver king. We pray, Lord God, that you would reveal to us what we are called to be and what we are called to do in this life for you. And we pray, Lord God, we would maximize every day, that we would maximize every moment that comes from you. And we pray, Lord God, according to Proverbs 8 and 35, you said, those who find wisdom find life, and those who find wisdom receive favor from the Lord. 
It is our prayer, Lord God. It is our request that you would give us your favor. Lord, we know your favor is undeserved. We know it is coming from your grace that is granted toward us. So we pray, Lord God, that you would find favor upon us, that your favor would be overflowing into our life. Lord, let your favor overflow into our families, Lord. Let your favor rest upon our households, God. Let your favor, God, be with us in ministry. Let your favor rest upon your churches, Lord. Let your favor rest upon pastors and leaders and and church um, staff and membership, God, and families, Lord. Let your favor rest upon our community, Lord. Let your favor rest rest upon each and every one of us in all that we do in all of the places that we go. We thank you, Lord, for being able to hear your wisdom. We thank you for the blessing that comes from your wisdom. We thank you that the revelation of life is from you, and we thank you that favor comes from you. We bless you for it all now in the mighty name of Jesus, the Christ we pray. Amen and amen. Again, today was day number eight, and we prayed from Proverbs 8, 34 and 35. Blessed are those who listen to me, watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. For those who find me, find life and receive favor from the Lord. Search out wisdom today. Wait daily at her doors. Listen for her and learn from her. She'll grant you favor and life and God's wisdom. We'll be back to pray again with you tomorrow. We love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.